Hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. This is Miss JD for our weekend episode of our daily stock market insights. And sa video na to, uh, bala ko sagutin yung uh, question ni Mags Espoho. 2128. A pleasant day, Miss JD. What is your take on the MPI tender offer? Uh, will it go higher? So, I did uh, you know, a bit of research today kasi syempre hindi ko naman nasusundan lahat. And I was able to uh, see the latest update on, on this matter. Itong pinaka-latest na balita na kuha ko. Uh, it was uh, posted June 7th. Okay? So, alam naman natin na si MPI ay nagpa-planong magpa-delist sa Philippine Stock Exchange. Right? Um, pero ayon dito, medyo madedelay ng konti. Uh, but still, MPI expects that this will happen this year. Um, despite a setback involving a third-party review on the firm's delisting plan. Uh, so, ano bang uh, mangyayari dito? For particularly, si first, uh, dito yun. Si, yun, si First Pacific's Metro Pacific Holdings Incorporated at si GT Capital along with uh, Japan's Mid Pacific Infrastructure Holdings Incorporated at saka si Pangilinan Lead MIG Holdings Incorporated ay nag-offer to buy out MPIC's minority shareholders at a price of 4.63 per share. There you go. Ngayon, Although ayon sa Manila Times, mukhang mapupush back yung initial plan na gawin nito by June 30th dahil hindi yung manon approve ni PSE ang initial report which of course ay am positive, madaling maayos naman yan. Uh, since wala pang exact date na naka-finalize, I think the market can still influence the price and um, ang inaasahan na lang ng mga tao ngayon is for the tender offer price to increase versus the initial amount set at 4.63. Now, paano yan mangyayari? This is my speculation and this is just me. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not even a guru. This is just an observation. Kung ang mga tao mag-decide na iparally yung presyo pataas, then that could potentially influence the final tender offer price. Right? Because 4.63. Um... Ang presyo ngayon, kung pupuntahan natin si MPI, sobrang lapit niya na sa 4.63, di ba? At, uh, well, may, may, on the, you know, on the uh, daily chart, nakikita ko, andyan siya, still, kahit a little bit higher yan sa ating uh, resistance na nakaplot. Well, actually, may isa ka pa dito eh. So, baka ito nga ay yung kanyang i- it a test. Oh, diba? Very, very near the 4.63. Yeah. So, nasa resistance area na siya. My take here is that um, if you're not able to, if you're not in there yet, okay, kasi technically hindi pa natin alam kung kailan na talaga yung exact date, right? Uh, if you're not there yet, hindi ka pa nakakapasok, uh, I suggest the only condition that you can probably take here is that if we get a resistance at balikan yung presyo, then that will be your chance because chances are it's either 4.63, hindi na bababa sa 4.63 ang kanilang magiging offer price. So kapag bumabayan, then you can potentially get uh, some good gains, right? Because by the time mag tender offer, if 4.63 remains, then you... Uh, you were able to buy low and you'll be able to sell high, right? Now, ang chance na lang nito, okay? Pero, uh, ako personally, even if this happens, medyo on the conservative side ako, parang kasi too late in the game para lang sakyan ko, FOMO level na kasi siya talaga. So, um, ang reality dito is that kung ang market mag-dictate na ipa-break out ito, right? Ipa-break out of the 4.61 or 4.63 level at ipa-rally pataas, then, you know, uh, they might vote again uh, to review the price. Kasi yun na ang, ang, valu ang valuation ng market sa kanya, di ba? And, uh, the price right now, what if umakit siya ng 5 peso? Then chances are, pwedeng ma-influence yan at 
baka pataasin yung pinaka-official tender offer price uh, someday. Pero hindi natin, pero ang target nga nila, nila is, sabi nila is, uh, this year talaga, they really plan to uh, exit the, uh, the Philippine Stock Exchange. There you go. Nag-lowbat lang yung laptop ko. So, so if if that happens, pag nag-breakout yan, then tingnan natin na uh, technical-wise, my nearest uh, resistance, next resistance, okay? But I'm not saying na i-break niya yan agad-agad, right? My resistance tayo, yes, right now, we're at that level. Wow. Tingnan natin. Baka dito. Yun na, 4.87. 4.87 to 4.90. Bakit? Dahil nakikita ko siya dito. Mayroon kang, ayan na, dito may resistance ka. At uh, balik tayo. At disan pa? Dito pa. Ayan na, resistance. Dito, 1. O, oh, pwede pang konti yan. Yan, dyan. O, oh, ba? So, that's my take. O, lagay natin 5 peso. 4.63, mapahagal nila pa akit ng 5. Dahil the market dictated na i-akit siya ng 5. Then when they review the price, they mas mataas siya ng konti. Pero ang pinaka-best approach dito is kung, kung kunwari, mag-pullback siya. Pullback niya kunwari mag-4.17. Bumalik sa 4.17. Yan. Uh, that. That would be your chance, no? Uh, to at least somehow, at wag wag na masyadong malaki. I suggest wag na masyadong malaki. This is just, you know, just to uh, ride on uh, the potential gains that you can get out of this uh, exercise, right? So, kung kunwari mag bounce at 4.17, maybe you can do test by just to experience how it goes. Because I, I personally, I have not experienced, uh, uh, I think this is the first time na naka experience ako magpapa delist uh, ang isang company and then uh, buying out uh, shares of the common shareholders. So, ang, ang implication nito is for sa mga taong nakapasok na at a lower price. I suggest at nakapasok na ha. Uh, just wait for the tender offer and just uh, you know wait for that uh, full potential of your gains. For those na nakakuha sa mas mataas na presyo, I suggest still still take that tender offer price dahil I would assume mas complicated na if you wish to liquidate your shares bal balang araw kasi all effort is on your side. I haven't really experienced selling shares outside PSC but I would assume it's going to be very tedious. Diba? So, yun lang siya. In terms of technicals, I already mentioned my thoughts here. Um, kung may rejection tayo sa resistance, posibleng bumalik siya at 417. You might consider playing that. And uh, <clears throat> if you want to wait for the tender offer price at mas mataas siya sa pasok mo, then good for you. Kung ayaw mo na i-wait yung tender offer price at may gain ka na, sakyan mo lang yung volatility nito. Kasi medyo... Uh, Baka, baka magkaroon ng, uh, you know, uh, exciting moves din uh, in the coming weeks, months. But ang, ang sabi nila, they really plan to execute the delisting uh, within the year. Okay? So, th that's those are my um, thoughts around MPI. I may have the, uh, you know, it's very raw. Uh, at kung may alam kayo na mga uh, balita around MPI na hindi ko alam, feel free to drop a comment. Magtulungan tayo because uh, I don't have all the answers and baka kayo mas maraming alam. <laughs> o, diba? So, there you have it, guys. Uh, catch my next video. I'm just trying to uh, segment the topics para hindi siya masyadong mahaba and then uh, concentrated on a topic in discussion natin. So, expect that I will have another video today for the other requests that you guys have. Tuloy-tuloy nyo lang yung pag-comment, ha? Uh, binabasa ko isa-isa yan and I, I, I will review definitely all your requests. So, for now, paalam muna and catch my next video. Bye-bye!